gratitude by me. You come, you enjoy some sun, you ride some jet skis, you come over to the shop and kick it with me and get tortured all day. Isn't that the best Christmas present? Que mas pues? Qué rico una Navidad en Colombia. I have a few spots open still for July. Mis padres son colombianos. Yo nací aquí en los Estados Unidos de Nueva York. Eh, y en mi casa, so, en la casa de mi mamá, solo se habla español. Pero se me hace difícil a veces expresarme en español porque obviamente no es mi primer idioma. No, I'm a pro at this. I don't burn my hair. Thanks. This is just a Conair from Walgreens. I had one. I think it was from. I think it's called Helen or something. I don't know. I bought it at Ulta and I lost it. So now I'm using this one. What's the hardest tattoo I've ever done? Um, tattoos where people move a lot. Those are the hardest ones to do. Because it's very difficult to do fine, straight little lines when somebody's, you know, shaking or moving around a lot. Oh, you like cartel crew, huh? I almost burnt myself. And that's what I get for talking shit on life while I'm doing my hair. Yeah, I get people cry during a tattoo, but it's usually when the tattoo is an emotional one, like if you're getting a portrait of a loved one that passed away, those are tough. All right, so what do you like? You like straight hair? Let me finish. Or do you like curly hair? Which one? I'll stay still. Can you guys tell me? Curly hair? Straight hair. Pretty hair? Curly. Curly. I like both. Just um straight is easier, especially to go to the gym and stuff, but I like curly. Feliz Navidad. What up, though? Okay. I should do IG Live more often. It's just, one, I forget, and two, I'm always tattooing. And I get so focused when I'm tattooing that I forget about everything. Like, if you see my text messages, I have, like, 500... And plus unread text messages. Like I've tried to, I, um, to do IG live before when I tattoo, but I feel like people don't. You know, they tune out. They don't really watch, like to watch that too much. I, I think I did burn myself. I 
Hello. Wait. Oh. Let me not even get started on my DMs. I have like five pages of emails that I have to get to and I tattoo all day. So getting to my DMs is very hard. Get on you. ¿Mm? Get on you. No quiso porque como me bañó dos días seguidos. Se bañó ayer y antier. ¿Oh, sí? Sí. Oh, bueno. Depende de que se quería bañar porque como él, él a veces me hace ruido y se sacude. ¿Oh, sí? Uh -huh. O sea, yo, me hmm. pensé, yo pensé. a lot of questions are you oh. yes both of my parents are colombian oh. merry christmas to everybody whoa how did i miss so many questions um my first tattoo was on my lower back i have a little tribal pretty much a, a tramp stamp um I got it when I just turned 14. I went with my mom to Colombia and we got matching tattoos. And I still have it because she still has it. So I'll never I'll never cover it up. So yesterday I didn't have extensions. Today I put my extensions on. If you guys want to see this right here, this is my real hair. See? And then my extensions. Well, I can't pull them now, but oh, and I missed this piece. My extensions, they're in here somewhere. I don't have. They're already on this lower part. This is my real hair. No, I will not stand up and show my butt. I'm good. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I, I could do that. How was it that I did that? I did that the other day for the first time. Instagram live with some of my followers. How do I do that again? I forgot. All right, give me, let me finish my hair and I'll log in with some of you. That way I can give you some of my undivided attention. The longest tattoo I've done was from like, I think we started at one or two and we finished at four in the morning. And that was the, I did a picture of Dwayne Wade. The one where you see like him sweating and everything. That's the one that took me the longest. Thank you. 
I'm sorry to hear that. I really don't know too much about reconstruction tattoos. Um, I know I've done it one time. But it depends on what you want to get done. The craziest body part I've tattooed was um, on a lower area. Somebody got a Pinocchio tattoo. Yeah, I've been to Dallas, but it was a long time ago, so I gotta go one day soon. like one side is harder to do than the other. Okay. What made me become a good tattoo artist? Um, well, I've always drawn since I was little. Um, and I started tattooing when I was 14 as a hobby. And my mom always used to tell me, if you're going to be a prostitute, be the best prostitute in the best damn corner ever. It's just like a vulgar expression in, in, in Colombian and Spanish. Just meaning if you're going to do something, always try to be the best, do it and try to be the best at it. So I started going to school for computer animation and I just, I miss tattooing. I like the challenge that you only have one chance to do the drawing right with everything else, with computer animation, with painting, like I can just go do another layer and erase it. But with tattooing, there's no erasing. So I quit school. And I just said, I'm just going to focus on tattooing. And I want to be one of the greatest tattoo artists ever. I think De Niro's probably going to end up tattooing because he likes to draw a lot. Um, you know, be very supportive of what he wants to do. And of course, school is his first main priority. By the way, De Niro is the only person I would teach to tattoo for free. And at that, that I'll still make him work for it. Mm. The worst tattoo I've ever done. I don't know. I don't like when somebody gets too like complicated and wants to add five different things in one tattoo. Those are the ones that I feel come out the worst. And they end up wanting to cover it up later anyways. Like if you want a heart for your mom, a moon for your, a, a moon for your son, and a world for your daughter, and then a flower for your grandma, and you want it all together. Those are the tattoos that are usually the worst ones to me. Any questions about tattoos and booking with me, you just have to email me because it's a lot of information that I really cannot get into on my life. Has anybody passed out when I've tattooed them? It's happened to me like five times and a lot of people think that it's because of the pain it's just because your sugar levels drop so when you get tattooed especially if you're nervous have some good sugar in your system hola primo donde mi mamá pues pa donde más yeah i did most of eddie's tattoos um i actually met eddie as a client um Eddie walked in and he was so young and um, he wanted to book a tattoo appointment. And like, honestly, what I thought was like, man, this guy's not gonna show up to his appointments. And he came and got tattooed every week for about like two, three months straight. Any advice for tattoo apprentices or anybody who's trying to accomplish anything, period? 
don't give up you know like there's gonna be a time where you're not making money where you're not going to see the, the fruit of your hard labor and that's your breaking point that's what's gonna make you stand out from other people because people give up really easily when shit gets hard yeah he booked a couple of tattoo appointments he literally went and got tattooed every week no i'm not from hylia i lived in hylia and it's not my favorite place place in the world Would I let my son get tattooed before he's 18? I mean, it depends on what he wants to get done, how bad he really wants it, and how he's doing in school and in life. Yeah, it hurt me a lot when I got my neck tattooed. I think that's the only tattoo like I cried a little bit from frustration because I finished my neck piece at a tattoo convention and I was in pain and people were taking pictures of me and putting their cameras on my, on my, their camera phones on my face. And it was very frustrating. Um, you know, at first when I got the call to go get tattoo on, well, yeah, I was nervous because